Welcome to my channel and um, today I'm gonna teach you how to create a very 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 simple Android app from scratch okay without having any knowledge or information about how to about Android app development okay so let's do that okay and before that I would uh, suggest you to install Android Studio which is an integrated development environment for uh, developing Android apps and uh, it's a very powerful tool with a lot of features and we are gonna explore all its powerful features uh, in the upcoming lessons okay so um, keep tuning and come on uh, let's start it okay so create a new project so as you can see here we are various we have a various template but i suggest to use empty template this empty activity because um uh, i'm gonna teach you to develop android app from scratch we have also um, the possibility of selecting various uh, platforms like android things automotive android tv or um, wear os and um, yeah and the templates we have also various templates here like for google map login activity okay so let's select the empty activity next okay i will create my application that will be My cool app okay and uh, the package name is a very important thing because it's a unique um, identifier that identifies your project okay so do not duplicate that and uh, I will select the language Kotlin the minimum SDK is 22 so if you want to uh, have uh, the uh, the range of your installation more higher than 92.3% then you can select other devices if you want 99.8 percent of uh, the uh, mobiles can install your app then you can install the uh, like you can select 4.1 but i would suggest you to um, select the um, the almost uh, like uh, not so um, uh, recent but also like a medium range um, api level because um, otherwise if you are going to select the older api level then now you have to a uh, lot of as lot of uh, libraries are deprecated so we have to make a lot of check um, and uh, conditional check to make the app running okay so i i would suggest you to use the minimum api level uh, that's 22 which is pretty much 92.3 percent that's okay so finish it okay voila it is ready so now let's begin uh, to explore um, and understand what is like the project structure or the anatomy of um, uh, like the project so how the when we first install the app like we create the app we have this kind of project structure so I, I would prefer to use there are different project structure as you can select here so I would suggest you to use Android project structure which is more uh, user friendly in the sense like you can understand it much better and all the important files uh, which are really important when in the phase of development are uh, only displayed here so manifest for example is one of the most important file of like one of the most important file in the entire app okay so because it has all the information of what the app is gonna uh like app information is there like for example the launcher icon is here so the package name okay the id as we created it before and all the activities uh, are declared here so whenever you create new activity new services so all should be registered here okay and also the permissions are registered here like uh, like uses permissions are all declared here so i'm going to explain you step by step later on in the upcoming lesson so this is a really important file okay so it's like a core file uh, it's like a, you can say it's a config file configuration file of the app okay so now the se second um, important folder is the java folder where uh, it's divided into three subfolders so the first folder is um, is a package file it contains all the uh, application code okay that we got we are gonna write here is are gonna uh, stay in this package okay so and the next package is for the android test that is the instrumentation test all the instrumentation tests 
um, files are here okay stored here and um, the next one is the unit test uh, package which uh, contains all the unit test files okay so I'm also in my upcoming lessons I'm gonna explain you more about how to create an instrumentation test as well as also the unit test okay uh, so and finally this resource folder which are which contains almost all the resources like assets values strings colors everything that we declared in the app okay so are here like the layout file the drawables you know the launcher drawable okay so and finally the these cradle scripts are are present here actually i'm gonna have a completely separate lesson to explain in detail about gradle scripts but uh, in the simple terms what is what are gradle scripts actually gradle scripts are the scripts which contain all the important information of the app like the minimum sdk the target sdk uh, your uh, like um, all the dependencies that we declared and everything okay so uh, you can think it as a, a building tool for the app okay uh so okay let's start to make the app now uh, our app uh, for the moment we have a hello world but we are gonna make it different okay the app is a very simple app which is gonna generate random icon when we click a button so um, let's do that let's create the first id for the title okay text okay it will be the title will be random icon generator okay I would suggest you to use the extract the string resource for this which is um, the best practices that we have to do and text uh, size also like 30 sp and the best practice is also to use the proper dimension resource file text size that is 30 sp okay and uh, yeah let me also write text color that will be purple okay uh, let me move it little on the top because this is a title text uh, style let me make it bold okay okay so this is uh, we created this title now we have to create an image and then also the button okay so actually you can write a create a XML file from this uh, from manually that means writing a code or you can use also a palette okay to create a, a XML file that is a design the UI so let's let me design using this palette so it's simple like you have to just drag and drop okay as we know that we have a we are using a uh, parent that is a constant layout as you can see here our parent layout is a constant layout so and these are all the child layouts okay text view image view are all inside the parent layout that is a constant layout so uh, yeah slowly and slowly I'm gonna explain you much about the constant layout uh, and the important thing about the constant layout we have actually a lot of layouts parent layout like constant layout relative layout uh, linear layout which have their unique important features but uh, mostly I prefer to use constant layout because it helps to also create some very complex layout okay it's very helpful when we create very complex layout so that's why we it's very useful layout parent layout especially okay so yeah let me so whenever you have a child inside a constraint layout we have to define the constraint so we define the constraint here one left it's like we have four constraints left right top bottom okay the image is ready so we also need a button okay yeah finally the bottom is also ready mm -hmm. and also we have to define a constraint because the parent is a constant layout okay okay so I also another thing like the information like attributes can be defined also changed from here okay so let me make it 
icon and let me make change the id is uh, button okay refactor this one let me move it shift it to the top here let me make this icon a little bigger okay okay yeah okay so this is a simple layout of that and uh, yeah that's it so now we are going to write a code to um, make a click function like when you click a button we have to uh, randomly change the image uh, like the icon here so uh, let's uh, go to the code okay let me split it vertically and we have here so we have to write a code to generate the icon so we have um, uh, we write a function so the best practice is to write a function for um, for each uh, each function that you are gonna do so each task that you are done gonna do so set a, a random icon for image view okay so this is gonna set a random icon for image this image view okay whenever we click this button so okay let's do that okay so uh so the to make a clickable uh button so we have to claim um, uh, have a reference of this button that is um this the idea of like uh, this button is yeah the generate button is the id so we get the reference okay we can also uh yeah we can actually get the reference in two ways Okay, first we find view view by id to the button okay okay we can get the reference in this way or we can uh, install the synthetic library okay so actually the extension function that we can uh, Okay, for the moment we can use only five view by ID. So, button. okay okay so let's check it if as you can see that uh, the emulator is already integrated to the Android studio so we don't have to make some extra setting Yeah, 
it's making a build as we can see here actually Gradle is building the entire app and running in the emulator So we wait for the Gradle to build to finish. Let's see if we can add some Kotlin Android extensions. Okay, actually what this Kotlin extension is gonna do is gonna make us uh, make our uh, Android app development easier because we are we don't have to write uh, this uh, uh, we don't have to find view by ID you know so you can automatically mm, like use okay let me comment this one and you can use uh, you see here you can use a generate button so uh, with this kotlin android synthetic so you don't need to add this extra line here so these two lines so that i was trying to explain it before so right now if you see here if i click the random icon generated so we have a toast here so now we still don't have the image here so uh, okay so the idea is to find the image here okay so uh, generate the random icon here so how can we do that uh, let me change the emulator okay I would prefer much better this one okay so I need the uh, okay so going back to the XML file we need uh, some random icons right okay so we need the, the random icons uh, to install in this uh, image view so another important thing is like the name space that uh, I wanted to tell you is uh, is because as you can see in our app we don't have this uh, source uh, tools sample avatar because we are using this namespace tools okay so just like uh, okay so let me close this emulator uh, if you see here we can see it in our XML file the, the image but we are not seeing it in the emulator because we are using a namespace that is a tools and tools is a tool that you can use to uh, for example like um, it's a it's a tool to just uh, make your development uh, easier in the sense like you if you don't want your uh, this random text to, to be to be shown on your production app then uh, it's it's just a, a tool to uh, help you to design the UI okay and in the development like in the production uh, app you have this uh, final uh, text okay which is gonna display in the uh, displayed finally in the app so for example I'm gonna explain you here like here source 
Okay. Okay. If you see here this source, uh, if I remove this tool source. Okay, drawable. Uh, okay, let's see the background. Let's use the background. Okay, if you see here, I'm using this this drawable. Okay, so uh, for the moment, this is this is uh, gonna be shown in the production app. So, but we if we use the uh, like the tools, we are gonna see this one in the in our development um, uh, environment. Okay, so. Okay, for the moment it's okay, and uh, okay. So the next step is to generate some of the icons. Okay, so how do we generate the icons? So let's uh, generate some drawable files. Okay, we it's very easy to uh, create uh, some drawable files. So. Uh, we we create some random icons which are okay let's let's make it uh... okay let's uh, make some random icons like accessibility okay done one okay in this similar manner we can generate some more random icons Okay, so here I'm generating some random icons here. Okay, finally we are done. Okay, so I want to make um, some modification also here. Okay, so cool. And uh, cool so okay so yeah I suppose everything is okay now let me make a build
okay so now we are gonna create a random icons when whenever we so as you can see here we are clicking this generate icons but we are not generating the random icon here so i want to make the random icon here okay so um, what we can do is uh, okay when we click this uh, generate straight on click listener we can make a toast then when okay uh, we can do something like this okay bar drawable is Okay, we generate a random number that is So we generate a number a random number from 1 to 4 Okay. And what we say is uh, bar draw ball equals to win random number is one we have uh, this drawable is two we have two okay when we have a three we have a random three and when we have a four we have a random of four right so that's it and uh, else uh, we have a background okay so uh, that's it so uh, and we have to set this drawable to our image view that is uh, uh, this image view has ID which is uh, image view Enjoyable. Okay, we have to set image resource. Okay, cool. Finally, I think we are gonna good to go. So let's run that. Okay, if you see here, we are randomly generating different icons. Okay, so this was uh, the simple app that I wanted to explain you and I uh, hope you have understood this one and maybe if you have any idea you can generate your own uh, simple Android app and um, that's it. Thank you for watching.